WordPress revisions learn how to undo changes and go back to an earlier version of posts and pages. Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. I hope you all are doing great and are having an amazing and absolutely incredible day. I bring you back with yet another video and in this video we're going to be talking about WordPress revisions and how we're going to undo changes and go back to an earlier version of our posts or pages that we want to go to, okay? And uh, basically, whenever you save a draft or update a published WordPress page or post, a CMS or a content management system automatically creates revisions of it. Now, when enabled, this feature prevents you from missing out on important work. So unfortunately, over time, WordPress revisions can take up unnecessary disk space and affect your site's performance. You know, it actually makes it quite slow. And we don't want that, do we? We don't want that at all. So... What we're going to be doing is we're going to be using those revision widgets that we have and we're going to learn actually how to undo those changes and go back to an earlier version. So our page can run more smoothly, our page can run more fast and everything is, you know, just better in terms of working speed because as your store grows and progresses, the world of your e-commerce or, you know, whatever type of website you have that stuff gets really slow. It gets really, really slow. And, you know, you don't really like a slow speeded store. And obviously a slow store leads to annoying customers. You know, like if you have any former customers that wizard your store and want to buy things from you, they're going to get really annoyed that why is the store so slow? We don't like the way it's this slow. We don't like the way it's, you know, not listening to the commands we're giving it, etc., etc. So obviously you're going to want to make sure that uh, your store speed is up to par it's really good and uh, the different types of post blocks and you know revisions we're gonna work and mess around with that as well so now to start things off what we're gonna be doing is first of all we're gonna be coming to the posts and we're gonna delete the irrelevant posts now as you can see for me over here i have this random test post for myself okay and you know i can choose to keep this test post or i can choose to delete it now, these are different small widgets that we have, you know, and uh, you can delete these for obviously WordPress revisions. Uh, now, let's say I'm going to open up this post over here. And once you open up this post, you know, we have a whole I'm going to uh, I've written a few things over here. Now, if I come down here in post and down here in post, you know, you can get a few things. So there's template. OK excerpt and then there's different things like permalink categories tags and a whole lot more now if your page has been changed and if it has revisions on it then it's going to give you an option of four to five revisions over here and you can obviously choose different things for those four to five revisions and uh, you can change it accordingly for those four to five revisions so uh obviously it depends on the type of working you want to go with it depends on the type of uh, things you want to change for your page and uh, you can change them through those revisions because those revisions were obviously taken back to the earlier factory version that it wasn't and uh, once you make a revision it actually takes you to the section where it gives you the insight of you making a revision where you know, it lets you switch through the past and the present of the revision. And uh, like, let's say I'm going to make some type of random change over here. I'm going to add a paragraph and I'm just going to, you know, go ahead and write some things and do that. I'm going to click on update. And obviously this is a revision that we made in the design. Now, once you've updated it, there you go. You get a revision option. And if you click on revisions, there you go. So it says that, you know, you added a new paragraph over here. And uh, you can split, you know, this was the previous and this is the new. So these are the new widgets that we added. And if you want to revise it, you can choose what you want to revise it to. So, you know, you could choose this and we can click on load. Look at that. It revises it to this. So these are basically how your revision works. And this is how you can learn how to undo changes and go back to an earlier version of a post or a page. So we can do the same. This is obviously how you're going to do it for posts by clicking on two revisions down here. You can do the same with pages as well. So if we come back here, go to our pages and uh, let's say we have a home page over here, right? Now in the home page, you know, you can get uh, different designs and we know that constantly the home pages are being changed a lot. 
because the home page actually constitutes the main uh, you could say appearance of your website the main dashboard of your website if i may and that dashboard of your website changes a lot doesn't it because this dashboard contains a lot of different things that uh, you know constitute what your page is actually about so obviously for because of it changing a lot we can see that i have changed my dashboard a lot as well so you can like obviously i made a change 36 minutes ago then i made a change in june 20th so you know you can split it unify it i'm gonna go ahead and load the june 20th version in and this is what my june 20th version of the store looks like now if i want to load it to what it was you know a few minutes ago then it obviously goes to that obviously i changed a bit of the styling and themes but yeah that is how you can update your pages as well so post and pages it's no matter uh you know using post and pages you can revise and load your actual design to a few days back and it's really easy to work with this it's really simple because it allows us to go back to a factory version of our website that you know is fast and efficient in speed and uh, you know it's not something that we've overdone because most of the times when you're working on something new like a new post or a new page we usually overdo things and we're like oh damn you know i've saved this now how will i go back to the other older version you can just you know as i showed you revise it and once you revise it things are gonna be good and great to go so yeah that's the basic idea that you need to understand when it comes to using these types of things in your you know basic wordpress and woocommerce editing tutorials now basically uh if i were to go through all of this again uh no matter how many revisions you have you know it, there could be five there could be six there could be ten okay as long as things are being backed up on your woocommerce or your wordpress you are going to keep getting revisions but the more revisions you back up I will warn you this, the slower your store gets because you're just adding information into the cloud constantly. It's consistently adding information into your cloud that maybe isn't even required that much. And, uh, you know, that's constantly slows down your store. So you are going to keep that in mind. And to the point where it, you know, adds the revision so much that your store is actually unbearably slow, then what you can do is you can come over to these revisions and you can one by one start deleting them if you want to and to delete them obviously you can uh, either go into the settings to delete them or you can just come into the page and uh, you can obviously move this page to trash and bring it back and that will obviously delete the revisions because you once you move the page into trash it refreshes it and renews it so yeah basically that's about it that's how you can uh, revise and reload uh, you know your previous pages but that's about it thank you for watching and i'll see all of you next time goodbye